Hello, my loves, my interwebs. Today is part two of Terra Firma, and I'm going to do my review on Terra Firma, so stay tuned. <laughs> Oh my, I'm going to get into the spoilers in a second because I just have to say the spoiler free thoughts and they're going to be short and simple because this episode was 10 out of 10. My, my version of it. How we got to see more of the Terran universe and how, how it was. And how we saw everything come up together. It's like you see everything pull together. It's like awesome episode. Sadly to see that Michelle Yeo had to go. We don't know if we'll see her again. We might take a trip back to the to the other universe to see her. We don't know. So guys, let me just get into this real quick. Sorry, I have fish up there and I'm getting a new fish tank for Christmas. So, but that's going to be a surprise vlog for you guys, okay? Not now. So, right now, this episode was really good. Michelle Yeoh really did a damn good, excellent job giving her character the send-off basically needed and i remember star trek when kirk and them saw the uh the guardian that was a throwback to star trek my mama and what i saw in this episode was so much sadness a little bit but it was jam-packed as well. It was like one of those action movies that had the sorrow in it at the end. And how it's all come together into one. I kid you not, everybody who was in there did a damn good job. And Terra Firma was a good name for this episode because you don't know the Terran universe. We got to see more about it. But in the end, it was like, wow. Star Trek Discovery really hit it out the park this episode. Really did. Sonequa Martin Green really did a good job playing her evil self. And how it all came together. And I kind of like the episode. And that's all I got to say. Because obviously there's nothing to say. Onto the episode. Except it was. Like something that you can relate to. You know like. We don't know what's going to happen. You know with the Terran universe now. You know we don't know. It, and then we got to see Tilly and all them. Damn good episode. Damn good episode. And then we got a throwback to Star Trek. With the Guardian. And I was like, damn. Now they have a person watching the Guardian? I know. It's been a long time since we've seen that. Alright guys, I'm done talking. That's all I gotta say about the episode. I mean, spoiler-free thoughts about the episode. Alright, guys, if you haven't, pause the video right here. Go watch the episode and come back, and then I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> Alright. So, we start off with where we left off from last episode, part one. Where Burnham is getting into the brig. And... Georgia is there talking to her and stuff like that. 
saying, look, you got to change and this and that. And it was like, yeah, I was, what's going on here, you know, like, this is kind of crazy, you know, how, you know, Georgia was trying to change, even though she's, she's a Terran, and they're telling, and she's telling Michael, you got to change, we got to find out who your conspirators are. And finally, they throw her in the agonize in the agonizer booth, and she's getting shocked, and she's sitting there watching it, and then Tilly comes in saying, "Why are you letting her breathe air on my ship?" And she's like, "She's gonna change. She's gonna change." So. She said that she's going to change. She's going to change. And automatically... Incoming subspace signal. Sorry, we got a notification. Forgot to turn them off. Ignore it. And she's like, well, wait, she's going to change. She's going to change. And she tells Saru, like, look, I've seen the Vahara. I've seen this and that. And I might be skipping a few things because obviously there's parts on there that were all... Uh, and some that were so great, so. And then we see where Saru is saying, what, you seen this? And she tells him about the other universe. And he's like, oh, really? And she tells him, if you get Vaharai, get locked in a closet, get locked up, wait until you're done with the Vaharai, you'll survive Vaharai. So then Michael, in the end, decides to say, you know what, I'm going to break free and I'm going to go after these people. Because she talks to Giorgio, and she ends up killing everybody who's conspirating. And then she's like, you could trust me. I'm going to do this. So then they find out about Lorca, who's hiding under the alias Victor. And then this guy that they found in the shuttlecraft. And he gets blown up. And killed. Because they beam him on board and they ask him all these questions about Lorca. And he doesn't want to answer. Burnham kills him. And she goes after Giorgio. And she's like, oh, you're weak. You're this and that. You think they're like this and that. And I'm thinking, you know, that's a damn good episode. How they're saying that. You know. Like they're saying, hey, you're weak. You're this, you're that, you're dumb, you're stupid. And she's like, okay, I'm dumb, I'm, I'm weak. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Da, 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 da. So then we get off to where Giorgio's there and they're fighting with the knives and they start killing people because they, 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 they all turned on Giorgio. And Burnham just comes out and then stabs. They both stab each other. And Giorgio just sticks out the knife. And if I skip some parts, just don't worry about that. I'm just describing the most intriguing parts. Because that was that's what got me. And then we see Saru talking to Admiral Vance. And, um, and how he used an emerald chain tool to get access. Incoming subspace signal. Sorry about that again. Notification. Got through where there was um, this device from the Emerald Chain where they got to get the data from the ship. And we see where Saru's talking to Admiral Vance and how this and that, saying, look, you got to do something and da 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 da. Talking to Saru saying, are you sure you want to do this? Because you haven't seen a Kelpian in years. And she, that was it. So Saru and them were done. But meanwhile, back in the thing. He, you know, Book helped them get, on, get the data from the ship. So then all of a sudden we get where Giorgio is still... They are dying, and Saru's like, I survived my Vahari. Da, da 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 And then after that, Giorgio appears right there near the Guardian. And he was like, I know this is difficult. I know this is difficult. Like, what are we going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, 
what's going to happen. So then we get where Giorgio is just lying down there, like really dumbfounded and weak. And she's like, you know, you got to do something for yourself. You're a captain, da 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 And that was it. And then she appears next to the Guardian. And the Guardian's like, no, this is not what's happening. You're, you're, you know, you got to go back. You know, I'm going to send you back to a time when the prime timeline, which is a timeline that they're in right now, and then the other universe are connected. They're not split. And she's like, what? So you have a chance to change it. And she says her goodbyes to Michael. And they say their goodbyes, Michael. Teary moment in all history. And that was it. And Giorgio went into the Guardian. And that was it. That made me think, oh my God, Michelle Yeoh's leaving. She was a damn good actress on Discovery. And I hope to see her again. Incoming subspace signal. Sorry. Yet again. And I was like, this is like sad, like sad to see her say goodbye to everybody. And then in the end, we see the whole crew making a toast to her, saying how, how she was and stuff. And it was like them giving a final farewell to Giorgio. And everybody thinking she's dead, but she just went in the Guardian and that was it. So now we get, you know, Burnham and Book together talking like they're saying, I'm sorry, da 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 da. Book is staying on Discovery to help them. And I think, we, I haven't seen Ren in this episode. Like, I'm thinking Ren is staying there too to help them because he knows the secrets of them. He's helping Starfleet probably because he knows Starfleet's his only chance of getting through, getting the Emerald Chain like he wants to. But we'll see what happens. And next episode, I know is going to be the bomb.com. Alright guys, please leave your comments in the comment section below what you thought about this episode. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace out my interwebs and have a happy healthy day.